Hello, everybody. Welcome. So we got crazy, crazy news this week coming out of the City Skylines 2 team with the first feature highlight on road tools. So this is very exciting, especially this this image right here is probably one of the things that has me most excited for this game. This intersection here looks like you can make what is called Michigan U-turns or Michigan lefts. Uh, being from Michigan myself, I am very excited to be able to implement those into my cities. But just this intersection is just incredible and something that would be impossible in the vanilla game as is right now. So that's all very exciting news. There's just so much going on in this video, and I wanted to go through and show three things that you might have missed. So number one is a truly blink and you will miss it kind of moment, but it has been also later since confirmed on the Colossal Order Instagram pages. Uh, they were doing a sort of Q&A, and they pointed out that over here, I happened to notice it in the video, but they again, they also confirmed it. Over here, you'll notice there's a crosswalk here, but there's no intersection. It looks like it goes onto like a pedestrian path, but it's not a traditional intersection like this. And they have confirmed that you can put crosswalks in the middle of roads without intersections, which is kind of a big game changer. It was something that was possible in vanilla, but not maybe the ideal situation. You had to change the actual road and then it would force a crosswalk there. Like if you changed one of the existing roads into like a, a tree-lined road and then a regular road. Now, you don't have to do that. And I was curious to know whether or not that functionality would exist because since you don't change roads anymore the way that you used to and you kind of just upgrade them to have those things and it still stays the same basic road, I wondered if they had this and it is confirmed that they do. Moving on to number two is something that I only noticed in a specific version of the dev diary. On Paradox Interactive, it doesn't have this section here, but on the Colossal Order website, it does. It has it has this section about the parallel roads, but the snapping tools, it, it mentions them, it talks about them, but this image here is missing from the Paradox Interactive one. But what I want to point out here is all these different snapping. So it starts with this one, but this one here is what I want to talk about. Snap to the sides of a building. So what's interesting about that is in the past in City Skylines 1, trying to put a road at the edge of a building could sometimes be really, really difficult and you had to really finagle it to get it to work. Now it seems as though you'll be able to snap to the side of the building and this road will seamlessly connect with that building. Sometimes in vanilla in City Skylines 1, you could get it really close, but there would be some sort of like tearing or the grass or whatever underneath the road would come through. And then you'd have these little patches of grass or dirt instead of like a seamless cement, you know, fitting against the building. I'm taking this to understand that we'll be able to snap to the building and that that will no longer be an issue, which is kind of pretty exciting. I try to draw roads next to buildings all the time, especially more important buildings to kind of give them like a border and to make them more important. Now it seems like that will be a much easier thing to do. And finally, number three, no, it's not the guy in the gold outfit, but behind him, you can see something that I thought was a really interesting detail. It has nothing to do with the road tools, but I did notice it. And I, once I did, I couldn't stop noticing it. But in the background, you'll see that these buildings have like individual little lights in it. And I'm just curious whether or not that actually has something to do with one of the game mechanics. So in some of the promotional materials, it talks about how the citizens in your cities will have a bit more of a personality almost. They'll make different decisions on where to park based on you know, their personal preferences, whether or not they want to get a closer spot or whether or not they want to walk farther away and save money. And it's also been hinted at. Um, I, I want to say it was written somewhere and I, I've been unable to find where it was originally that I saw it, but they have sort of alluded to it in those Q&As on their Instagram pages that citizens will be able to change 
the route that they're taking to a place. If, for example, there's an accident on their original route, they might change routes based on that. So I'm also taking that to mean that there's the potential for, say your sim is on their way to wherever it is they're going, and you add a brand new road. They might change their path based on that new addition of that new road, just on the fly. I don't know for sure that that's exactly how it will work, but it sounds like that's going to be a possibility now. And I'm wondering if these lights point to a little bit more of that personality. It's the middle of the day, some lights are on. Maybe this will mean that the day and night cycle really has a huge impact on how the sims in your city travel throughout your city. Will places at night be more busy? Will certain industrial places or, you know, office buildings be closed during the night instead of just traffic kind of going constantly how it does in City Skylines 1 at the moment? We'll still have to wait and see if, to confirm all of those details, but I just thought it was a really neat thing to see. And there's a couple different places that you can see this throughout both, I think, the trailer and also this new feature highlight video. Either way, I'm excited to see what will be revealed next week on Monday about the traffic AI, which will probably get into whether or not uh, your citizens can just change directions on the fly based on whatever information is coming in at the time, be that a traffic accident or you adding roads that might be faster or more convenient for them in their route. Either way, I will have a video on it hopefully next week talking about the newest information. And if you want to see more of these videos, go ahead and leave a like below and subscribe to my channel and you'll get updates. Thank you for watching.